In this video, we will discuss about male strobilus of ephedra or male cones of ephedra. Reproduction in ephedra occurs by means of male strobilus and female strobilus. They are born on different plants, so condition is called as dioecious. Now, if we see structure of male strobilus, it is born on the node of the ephedra plant. So, this is node, this is node and this is internode. At the node are present scale leaves, so in the axil of scale leaves, uh, male cone they arise and each male cone is a complex structure or compound structure and these lower brackets in the male cones they are sterile uh, they are made up of two to eight pairs of uh, decastly arranged simple broad and cupped brackets decastly mean at right angle to each other like this is here so another one will be at right angle to this so upper one they are fertile which bear the stalks called as uh, microsprangia 4 and microsprangia 4 bears uh, microsprangium number of the microsprangia can vary from 8 to 12 this part if we see its structure this will appear like this like this this is the stalk and here these are the sprangia present in the uh, microsprangium now if we see the structure of microsprangium like uh, this can be made like this and like this right so here i am showing one only this is bounded by wall this is this wall is the outermost layer this is epidermis and this is again wall layer which is made up of parenchymatous tissue and this innermost layer which is binding to its porogenous tissue this is called as uh, tapetum this helps in its nourishment inside this tapetum will be present sporogenous tissue now this sporogenous tissue is basically deployed in genetic constitution this is 2n now this will get uh, metamorphose into spore mother cell like we can see here this is a spore mother cell each spore mother cell is deployed in genetic constitution now this spore mother cell will undergo meiotic cell division to form four spores three are present at the front side and one at the base so four microspores will be produced from one spore mother cell after cell division this is called as meiosis and uh, after meiosis all the spores they will be haploid in genetic constitution from one spore mother cell four microspores will be produced and these microspores or pollen grains they are bounded by a wall toward outer side this is called as exine which is quite thick inner to exine is present in time which is thin and this is the cytoplasm of the microspore or the pollen grain and this is the nucleus so these microspores later on they germinate to form the male gametophyte in case of ephedra that we will discuss in a separate video so this is all about structure of male cone in the next video we'll discuss about structure of female cone thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe